easy. Yeah. The galvanized stripping. Oh. Right, just as we would start cleaning up, steels have arrived. Fans locked. The big opening then. Go. <laughs> there we go. We've arrived. A bit late because we've been been for this. Went to James to check the steel's coming today. It's a yes. Probably late after, late morning, early afternoon, which is not ideal, but it's coming. That's the main thing. So we've been to our favourite higher place, Hodgson's. Thank you, Hodgson's. I'll flip that round in the edit so you can read that properly. So there's our genie. Yes, we get so much stick for not getting a genie, but in this in this particular job, we can take the wall down, take the roof spars out of the way and slide it straight in. Back skin's done, which we did yesterday. So we're gonna get the front skin done today. We're gonna to prop it from the back because we can't get the steels in yet. Then when they've um, got that many acros, we can prop it from the back with the acros. When the steel comes, we'll get the steels in, then we'll put the strong boys up on the other side. So yeah, that's the plan. Plenty to do, and only a day to do it. So quick, quick run inside. Back inside. So we can get the acros in from this side. Oh yeah. What? I forgot we took the wall down. Yeah. I thought, how the hell are we going to prop that up from? Yeah, we, we can just muddle through from this side. Temporary acros from this side. 
and then once we get the steels coming in through this window into position here then we can get the strong boys in so we're going to take these probably middle four Bruce bars out so we get the genie in here and then we can up we go so this is one video where we won't get should I hide a genie lift because we did I think we should get it, just put it there and don't use it. We, yeah. we, we really get on the nerves. Like the digger on that job. Yeah. Yeah, so we're um, nice and tidy in here now. We had another little session on this this afternoon, yesterday afternoon, which is a bit annoying because we could have been on that all day because the weather, it didn't rain. But um, yeah, it is what it is. Um, so, yeah, get propped and make a mess. Let's go back to the van because the van's open. Almost had a bit of a calamity, a semi calamity, if you like. That one dropped. So Alex got the acro in quick. And we've put the, uh, close. the galvanized stripping. I can't remember how much it was. You just get a roll of it from the screw six or tool station. Basically, we just put that in, screw it to the joists, and that holds all the beam filling in. So even if they, they work loose, they're not going to drop. These are all solid now. The only bit we haven't done is this side. They seem to be solid for now. We have run out of that stuff. So hopefully it stays put. We could always put an acre under with a bit of 3B2 if it starts looking like it's loose, but so far so good. So we've got um, two acros in the brickwork. Bear in mind these are only temporary. And they're of course too low. They're, they're basically propping the back of the house so we can take all this out get it all out out the way through the window and all clear it ready for when the steels come then once the steels come get them into position put the echoes back with the strong boys on top and it's um humid very very warm no breeze it's, it's, it's the breeze is what we need and it looks like there's no poly balls at this end but there's, um, there's the fluff, the other stuff, yeah. Not much of it. I think that fluff's come next door. Maybe, yeah. It's just come through the cavity from next door when they've had theirs done. So, um, yeah, because this is the old back of the house. So back to time lapse, we'll get the other, these other two uh, uh, acros in, and then we'll go and have a break. Right, back from Broome. Got that thing just about in. We're going to leave it there while we knock these two cores out. Yeah, we're going to knock the two out for now. And then we'll put the strong boys in later when the steel's come. So you can see all those loose ones above the angle iron there. We're going to get rid of them. And um, we can start dropping this then. That'll get that out. Basically get everything down. We're going to take the um, window out again, so we just fling stuff out there, straight onto the pile. They walk around messing about. So, um, back to um, time lapse while we get some of this down.
right, just as we would start cleaning up, steels have arrived. So, we're gonna figure out how to get this now. We're uh, gonna try and get it through the window, somehow, some way, involving so taking this fence out. Yeah. Okay, set up. One of them blocks, Al. You, you take one. And just put it out of the way. Put it that over that way about two foot, so it's right out of the way. A bit flatter than that. Yeah. Hang on. Just push it to me a touch. Okay. Ready? Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, that was easier than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> it does look YouTube doing the lifting like. Yeah. Uh, 
Well, that went better than we thought. But obviously now. <laughs> well, now it's going to be the two of us trying to get him in the house. Yeah. So that's that. We'll uh, take you inside for the clean up then. So once we've got cleaned up, we'll get these monsters in. Got our bag of bolts. Thank God we've got a genie lift. <laughs> Made the right call there. So yeah. Get your set back up in here. I'm move the wheels towards the back. Otherwise it's gonna catch, isn't it? Take them with the take it out. Take We both get on this. It should get on the window before it leaves the road. Ready? It's going to be hard for me here. Get an under. I'm going to be like this. Would you just keep, you just keep feeding it through? If we get it about here. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I've got I've got the weight you sort out the wheels. We're on the full, we're on the sill properly now. Right. I need your way, mate. What for? It's on two wheels, it needs, it needs moving back. So you sat on the middle of it. That's it. You should, you, you um, guide it and I'll push. Well, both push together. One sec. I'm just going to get it in for now. Because we need to tidy up, don't we? Yeah. Can do, yeah? Okay. Is it stable?
Yep. Again. You don't want to get it, slide it on the steel. No, because we've got to take it off that steel then. No, we haven't, you've got to sit on top of the steel. Why? Because we'll get the strong boys in, it's sat next to it. It's got to be on top, that's what the brick was on there for. There was no brick on the steel, it was there. Right, well, we need to get on there. So you keep your stem steady. Ready? Yep. Do you want to lift it? Um. Right, you've got to take it off the steel now and pull it over there. Hmm? You've got to take it off the steel now and pull it over there. No, just slide it on the steel. Go on. It's alright, I've got it, this camera won't fit in that hole. Okay? Yeah. Please tell me that I can go more. Hey? Please tell me that I can go more. Sockets. Oh, God. Why isn't this fitting? This fit through before, and now I can't get past this socket. Um, because we probably came in lower. Just um, stay there. Hold it steady. Have you still got a gap there? Yeah. Yeah. Your side at first, unless you just lift both sides up together. Yeah. Okay. The brick's there to get the forks underneath it. We have to go in level. I'll tell you what, get me a block. Hey. Get me, I can't do that anymore. I'll do it. I'll block the block at a time. Get you just do a block at a time, man. I'm still just doing one. Okay. I need to put the block on the ground. <laughs> yeah, but we've got to lift it level, haven't we? No, no. If you're not lifting, if you're not putting on a block. Well, it stays, it doesn't twist, okay? Yeah. Didn't realise we were filming. Welcome back, that's going to be a long video to edit. How was that? Easy, easy till the last bit, wasn't it? Stressful till I got to the sun. Good job of keeping this window because that was dead handy sliding across that. So there you go. They're in position. They're in position for G lift. I've marked the centre, so we know where to get the forks in the centre. And we might have to move them blocks again, but we'll see. So we're gonna have some dinner now. We've left, we put a brick under each end so we can get the forks under here. And then it's a matter of Well not quite, gotta get that coarser brick out first. And put all our acros on this side with our strong boys. So um 
do you know what? We probably won't even need the strong boys. We could probably just prop underneath this wall plate, which will be fixed into the wall. The wall is solid. It's going nowhere. So I might do that. Just take the weight of this. It's going nowhere. So yeah, that's the plan. So um, acros, strong boys maybe, maybe just under the wall plate, and genius steels. So let's go and have some dinner first. Including most paints, oils, and a right. Just looking at this, we're going to have to have a little move around this. We're going to have to move this pro. We have to move this acro over a bit so we can get the forks through here. We're going to move those blocks over there. So we've got an easy way in with the genie lift. <clears throat> we'll get those two angle lines outside. Alex like said that big one's really heavy. And then I want to put two planks down here so that the, the genie sat on two flat surfaces instead of these where the walls used to be. So um, I'm going to fill my bottle up and fill the kettle up and then I'm going to go and get, help Alex get the genie lift in. I'll, I'm just going to, you know, I want to move the blocks. I'm going to put the blocks back where Paul put them there and then <clears throat> to be in the right place then we can just bring the gene lift straight in and then we'll brush it we'll brush up here we'll put two planks down but this needs moving as well we need to put another one in here and, and take this one out okay so the the, the uh let forks go through right back to time lapse while we get organized later than I'd hoped but there's the bed on the top on the first steel which is going to be hoisted up any second as soon as that starts comes down we'll start lifting it well I can start lifting it anyway but, um, yeah always put your bed on first wheel in position then in fact looking at it now I've just realized I've made a big mistake we're doing the inside steel first and that's got a tight bed and I've put the big bed on for this side, so I'm gonna to have to go along there and take half of that mortar back off again. So um, uh, we'll be back in a second.
Right, you've seen that one go time lapse, so we're going to do this one normal speed. So, catch you in a bit. Just heads up, it sounds like an angry cat. <laughs> yeah. So, excuse the noise. But what we'll do is we'll get up near enough, stop the camera, start it again. Because nothing clips it, you can't clip it too long. <laughs> I've just realised, um, are we going to be able to um, get the bolts in here? You know why? It doesn't look like there's going to be a gap. Oh yeah, there's going to be a gap, not much of a gap though. It's one or two. Might have about 50 mil. Okay. Probably get your hands in, not mine. More. More? A little bit, yeah. Okay, that should be good. Is that in like? Yeah, that in ounce. Bit of micro adjustment. This end needs to adjust in now too. Yeah. <coughs> We will listen. So we're up near enough, so we're lining her up now, and then we go up again. So we just get just like touching. And once we get to there, we get the acros in, and then we, we use the acros to actually get into place and put it in tight. The acro before that has twisted, so we need to sort that out and get the twist out of it. So um, let's get this thing up. Genie's tight now, we need to do acros. That's it's gonna wreck the genie if we take it any tighter. Yeah, that one's like that. Yeah, right. Okay. Right, there's all the acros now. There's one here. There's loads here.
Position. It's just a matter of winding up with the acros now and getting it tight, getting it tight and getting it all in, lined up and everything. Yeah, we're gonna have to go that way with it. So um, before we get too too tight with it, uh, I'll just to rinse out. Because we need to drop down, drop into his out. You need a safety spec on. So, uh, yeah, we'll drop back onto a time and get the rest of this done. 